right, good afternoon. This is teacher Roberto, and this video is basically the continuation of week two because on week two we cover greetings, right? Um, also, the simple present of the verb be. I think I'm gonna extend the the time of the quizzes and the time for collecting the portfolio. So this this video um, is about introductions. In introductions, we are going to see how people introduce themselves and also uh, they introduce a family member or a friend. So topic two, introduce yourself and others. So in this video, so in this lesson, basically, what I'm going to evaluate is speaking, mostly speaking, right? Mostly. So um, you will learn, or you will review, because I assume, or I, I, I know that some of you can introduce yourself and your friends. And objectives. The objectives of this um, of, of this lesson is introduce yourself and and others demonst demonstrating confidence. Right. So in the t in the nineteenth century, it was considered rude, like in this one, and unpolished to talk to anyone without being formally introduced. So this is how important. Uh, on the 19th century, you know, was to introduce yourself. So this is a skill that you um, are going to learn. All about me. All about me, this is all about you. Uh, this is a graphic organizer, but I'm offering a different graphic organizer um, on, uh, on a couple of pages ahead. So. Do not mind about this. Uh, introduce yourself and others. Introduce yourself. Here are some expressions to introduce yourself. You can practice. My name is. I'm. Remember that this is the contraction of the verb be in affirmative. I'm. Nice to meet you. I'm Roberto, for example. Pleased to meet you. I'm. And then you say uh, your the name of the person or the person that is being introduced. Let me introduce myself is another um, phrase that you can use. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm. These phrases you can use to introduce yourself because you are going to record either a video or an audio and then you're going to upload the video or the audio up to a model. Um, introducing others. Here are some expressions you can use. Jack, please meet Nicholas. Or Jack, have you met Nicholas? Or I like to meet. Um, I like you to meet Lisa. Those are phrases that you can use to introduce yourself. But if you can't use your own phrases, that's totally fine. This is not a. This is not an iron frame that you can only use these phrases. You can use your phrases as well. Useful expression when introducing yourself or, the, or other people. Nice to meet you, pleased to meet you, happy to meet you. How do you do? Alright? Find the meaning of these words. This one is just for you. You don't have to, to turn this to me. This is just for you. Reading. This is important. Reading comprehension. Read the paragraph about Matt um, Lemansky. Right? Matt Lemansky. This reading is important because here is how this guy, Matt Lemansky, introduces himself. When you are going to introduce yourself, you can use this reading as a model, as a reference, as an example to introduce yourself. I'm going to read it so that you have the pronunciation, right? Hello, my name is Matt Lemansky. My friends call me Junior because my father's name is Matt also. I am the creator of Speaking of English, 
a blog for intermediate English learners who want to become more fluent in the language. I'm originally from the United States and I currently live in Germany. I have been a teacher since 2008 and specialize in business writing and uh, IELTS preparation. Before becoming a teacher, I worked as a copy editor for government agencies in Washington, D.C. and as a ghostwriter for startup founders and independent consultants around the world. In my free time, I enjoy hiking, practicing photography, and exploring the city by bicycle. All right? Ghostwriter. This is probably a word that is new to you. If you don't know the meaning of this word, go grab a dictionary and then find the meaning of this word, the definition of this word in English, please. And look at the way he um, introduces himself. Really, really, um, um, really well developed, really clear. He talked about his name. Um, also, he talked about where he worked, where he was from, also where he worked. So he basically talked in general about what he did and, and, and who he was. So when you introduce yourself, you have to or you should follow this one. If you want to add more, you can do so. And the reading comprehension this time, I'm not going to um, include the reading comprehension on the test. Probably, right? I'm not gonna do that. Uh, this is just for you. You read this and then you answer uh, the questions. You answer this based on what you read. This one, this is just for you. I'm not gonna grade this. This is just for you to, you know, to read or to practice a bit. This pronouns and simple present tense of the verb be. We already covered this in the previous week, so go back to the to week two um, and watch the videos about the simple present of the verb be. And over here and over there, you'll see something related to this as well. Um, this one, this practice is also included on week two. This one is included in week two. Please review it because I think I'm going to include um, a quiz, a writing quiz about this part um, uh, for, for probably next week. And I say probably next week because I need to collect um, most of the work from, from week two. Um, complete the paragraph with um, information about yourself. This is important. This is important because when you introduce yourself, um, you should follow this framework. You should follow this this um, all about me page over here. I'm giving you um, a guide so that you can follow through and then complete your self introduction. Um, I will explain you more about what I want you to do in regards to this page okay so also you need to introduce yourself as I said because the objective of this lesson is introducing yourself so here or this is the frame or this is the page or this is the uh, the the guide that you should follow if you want to introduce yourself appropriately but if you want to introduce a family member or a friend, um, I'm going to give you more details on this one on the next video because I'm going to re um, record another video about what I want and what things I'm going to evaluate. This one is also included on, on the activities that I'm going to evaluate, so I will explain more in detail about that. Basically, this is the... the the things that I'm going to cover this week. 
I'm not gonna explain grammar because I already explained that um, on week two. If you have questions about the grammar, please you either ask them to me or you can go back to week two and review the videos. This week I'm gonna give more time so that you finish with all the assignments, with portfolio, with the quizzes, so that I collect most of your work. And once I know that I can start uh, putting up quizzes or uploading quizzes, I will let you know about that. So thus far this is it. This is basically the introduction. Remember that I have two, as two assignments that I'm going to discuss on the next video. Review the vocabulary is important. Review this, please. This grammar structure, review it. Important too. Um, the reading. Look at this, how this guy introduced himself, which um, information he included in this um, introduction or ab about himself. So this is it, people, and um, thank you so much for, for your attention. Remember that this week we are going to be covering introductions. Introductions. Um, thank you so much for your attention. And I'm going to finish the video right here because on the next video I'll be explaining a bit more about the activities that I'm going to collect. Um, probably this week and I'm saying probably because I'm gonna give you more time to finish the activities that you have available or that you have not available that you have pending from week two